Hi, welcome to the demonstration of automated car crash detection. The main objective of this project is to send the GPS location of a car in case it has crashed. And the things that I have been using to detect the crash is an accelerometer. Now I am using the vertical acceleration to detect if the crash has happened. So I have, uh, I have connected my accelerometer to node MCU as you can see here this small red one is my accelerometer and this is a distance sen sensor which is used to alert the driver in case if there is an obstacle that approaches the car close by and this is my raspberry pi I have used a GPS sensor to get the GPS location and I am using MQTT protocol for communicating for communication between these two devices so uh, this is the code that I have used to get my acceleration values and to measure the distance using the distance sensor and I have already uploaded the code now as you can see if an obstacle approaches near the car let us suppose this is the car in my case and this is the distance sensor so as you can see if an obstacle approaches near the car you can hear an alert which is a buzzer that goes on and you can see in the console the values of this um, acceleration and the distance of the obstacle so if I um, get an obstacle closer to the car you can see the distance changes and if I remove the obstacle you see the distance increases again so this is how I got the measurement of the distance from the car to the obstacle and this is my accelerometer as you can see if there is no movement uh, it will give some basic values which is due to the relative motion uh, between the earth and the accelerometer so if I move this accelerometer you can see that there will be a slight variation in the values so basically this is the horizontal acceleration and this will be the vertical acceleration so this code basically publishes two types of data onto the MQTT node red one is the horizontal acceleration which is published uh, to the out topic and the next one is the vertical acceleration which in, ca in this case is used to detect the accident so I have kept the topic name as accident so uh, if I enable the debug node you can see here the acceleration values so these are basically the horizontal accelerations and I have I'm uploading these horizontal accelerations to the Watson IOT. This is my Watson IOT node, and this is uh, my Node Red console from the Raspberry Pi. So, if you click on this, you'll be redirected to a Watson cloud page where the de acceleration data is live streamed. So, these are the acceleration values. And now, if I move this horizontally, uh, you can see that there's a slight not slight there's a drastic change in the acceleration values that the graph picks up so I'm going to show this once again so this is how the values change uh, based on the movement of the car and now coming to the accident this topic is being subscribed in a program in my Raspberry Pi and this is my program So uh, you can see here when the MQTT is connected it gets subscribed to the topic called accident and in case if there is a message that comes to this topic my GP, my Raspberry Pi picks up the location from the GPS module and then sends an alert using a mail. So let's check this out. So this is my vertical acceleration and I have set a threshold value of 1.5G so it takes a while to reach that acceleration. Yeah, there you go. So I have already uh, run the program in my Raspberry Pi. So you can see the output on my node red console which is basically the value that has been published from my 
Arduino. So uh, you can see here earlier it was blank and now since there is an acceleration greater than 1.5, that message is published from Arduino onto the topic called accident and we can see the same value here on my Pi and this location is uh, published from my Pi using the GPS sensor and you can see a mail uh, alert as well with the location. Uh, this is the latest message that I got zero minutes ago and if you open up this location la which is basically latitude and longitude in GP um, Google Maps you can view the location where the sensor is basically the car is so I'm just gonna open that for you So this currently my location, which is the value that I got from my GPS sensor. And now in case if there is a false alarm, like there's no accident, but the acceleration value goes up and the user don't, doesn't want to call for emergency services. In that case, I have a switch here, which he can turn it, which by using which we, he can turn off the alert. Let's see that again, how it works. So, so if he presses the switch in less than 5 seconds, he won't be getting any alert. So let's check in my Gmail as well. So this is basically the last message that I got and I don't have any uh, mes uh, recent messages. So if he, he can dismantle this by pressing the switch and in addition to this, I have created a an operation in node red which is used to uh, get the location of the car from wherever you want so this is basically the node uh, that uses to track the location of the car um, let me show you quickly how this works so uh, what the user can do is he can just uh, browse up this location uh, browse up this URL and once he clicks this timestamp, uh, this j basically he can do this from even the mobile. So once he does that, he'll be getting a message uh, here, and he will also be getting a mail, which has uh, the GPS location again, uh, which is here is my same GPS location. So this way he can get the location of a car from wherever he want. So this is my project.